prerequisite of uh, me as an artist to be able to talk about something on the background of knowledge and not just on the on the premises of uh, oh yeah i've heard about it yeah yeah um but uh, to be honest with you uh, my feeling with listening to your work is that um you are you have established already the basics for for your vocabulary perhaps um in your first album i i felt like i'm uh, just being honest with you Please. i felt like still and, and also i have to say in the background i'm a little bit skeptical of the modern traditions um mm -hmm. so i felt when your first album i loved it um the sonority is very uh, how do you say um you you made a very conscious choice of what you put in uh, there's very much uh, sensibility there um and uh, but I still feel that um, it's an expression of the technical aspects mm -hmm. of the language. Um, this newest album of yours, it's like you're beyond all of that now. You, uh, um, how to say, uh, yeah, um, there's the, the 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 marriage between your your uh, your your emotional or affective sensibilities and the technical language are now unified. That's so nice to hear. Thank so, you. So that it's not a switch between the two or a balancing of the two, but the mm -hmm. idea comes simultaneously as emotional idea and technical expression simultaneously. Mm -hmm. the music um and secondly so this is let's say like after the music the point of after the music has been created and then there's also the point of before the music has been created because um to explain it a little bit when i was very young when i was uh, first starting to write down my music and everything how what age roughly um well to really write down my music i think i started at the age of roughly 10 10 or 11 Amazing. But I had, I had, let's say, composed uh, quite a lot of short pieces before that. It's just that I kept playing them for myself and mm -hmm. I never really took the, the effort to write them down. Mm -hmm. um, so they were basically just in my memory, in my mind, yes. but in my oh, own yeah. way. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And to try to try and mold it somehow to something which I was already planning in my mind. So it was somehow quite a big project in my mind before I had even started writing the first note. Mm. And this uh, this perspective of like what is before the music has changed completely in the meantime. Um, also because in the meantime, um, I don't plan the structure anymore as I used to. It's much more a process of I know what I would like to like like what my inspiration is, let's say. And I know also roughly what my aim is with this piece of music, but I write as I go. And I use my instrument much, much more. I'm at the piano and I write at the piano much more than I did huh. before. And that's not because I wouldn't be able to write without the piano, but it's because when I write, I want to put down something that I hadn't thought of before. Okay. So <laughs> while at the piano, I'm actually trying to discover, let's say new, whether it's harmonies or phrases or ways of finishing uh, a musical phrase. Either, either way, I'm trying to surprise myself, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so that it's not something I could write um, just like that. That's I want beautiful. It to be That's a be beautiful, beautiful, um, yeah, a be beautiful uh, story you tell about the development. Um, obviously, there has to be something beautiful going on for you to come up with the end result. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no, so, so.
So you're still, even though you have definite idea of your goal, even though you have definite idea of saying the motifs or something, you still are in a process of discovery while you're creating that. Okay. Yes, yes. And I'm so glad uh, and thankful for this change in my creative process. This is, uh, I really have to say, this is thanks to, in the first place, thanks to my, my former composition professor, uh, who is himself also a composer, quite a well-known established Swiss composer. He's called Bald Trümpi. Like you either have the courage or not, but somehow he managed to, to engage me into this quest, let's say, of not having everything preconceived and going like the safe version with, I know what I'm going to write. It's rather this quest of like, I don't really know what I'm going to write, but I know why I'm writing it. 